Hello everybody, welcome to our new video today. Um, in this video, we gather all the valuable comments from the LinkedIn platform. Actually, LinkedIn is a treasury of, uh, of potential uh, experts and professionals. Uh, if you remember in the last video we we uh, name it uh, original oil place calculation with crystal ball. This is of course probabilistic approach. Uh, we we have some valuable comments uh, and we are going to answer or rectify some of them. Uh, first, uh, uh, I'd like to thank you, Mr. Robinson for uh, this uh, valuable feedback. Of course, you can put B10, B50, B90 on the curve, on the output curve for uh, either uh, oil place or reserve or resource or whatever. Let's make it interactively by using uh, crystal ball. Let's go for crystal ball. Uh, actually, this is the same last, that we did in last uh, last video. Let's activate from Excel options. Come add on and activate using crystal ball. Okay, uh, if you remember in last tutorial we did uh, something is not not accurate because we did the formation volume factor is multiplication which is incorrect. We have to put it in below divided because this is uh, oil in place calculation area multiplied by thickness by porosity and water saturation divide by formation factor formation volume factor not multiply then we have to fix it control x and put it down okay okay uh, actually uh, we have to run again because we change something in this formula uh, of course, we can play with this curve from preferences, chart, and go to chart type and put whatever you want in the chart based on your requirement of or your interest. Uh, in uh, our interest now is doing B10. B10, B50, B90, as Mr. Robin Hoon Another positive feedback from Mr. Ahmed Omar from Libya. Thank you, Ahmed. Uh, I'd like to add that beta distribution is much suitable for saturation and porosity as it already cover only from zero to one random values, so it cannot be less zero, of course. Uh, of course, if we apply the, your methodology, we will never get negative value, which is you are correct. Um, and you can adjust the, its BDF high bar parameters for normal distribution. The tail of BDF is going plus or minus infinity, even though with very small probability here there is a chance to sample to sample negative value of thickness and area which is again is the nature of uh, so you might end up with positive oil in place yes but with both negative thickness thickness and area you should truncate BDF to incorporate only positive. You are completely right. Um, Mr. Paul Taylor. Um, 
the, uh, for uh, for you and other just getting started please be familiar with these two concepts first is variable cross correlation yes let's pause for now let's go for crystal ball i know uh, you have to play with the correlation uh, let me show you how to go how to play the correlation in uh, crystal ball just uh, tools go to tools and correlate correlation matrix okay and you choose whatever uh, you want i think in our our case the so or even sw is dependent on phi uh, or uh, positive let's do it so so and click on this create a temporary correlation matrix on a new worksheet or create a link now we don't have this matrix because this is uh, as i mentioned below previously uh, this is just an example uh, not a true uh, information or not a true data you if you have real data we can play with it okay then start for a while if you have a matrix for s uh, phi and s oil uh, you can put it here and load the matrix because we, uh, because we have no matrix here we run uh, only one value for each matrix successfully added one for each we assign SO1 which is the maximum and one for five then click OK 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 Thank you again, Mr. Paul. Uh, what it does is um, build uh, the sorry. The so second is Latin hypercube. Okay, uh, we didn't run Latin hypercube in the previous video because it was using Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo simulation, but uh, if you want to, we can show the Latin hypercube, I know it is more realistic and more accurate, but let me show you, show for uh, other members how to play with Latin hypercube. Okay, uh, go for run preferences and uh, choose for sampling tape and use Latin hypercube. Uh, as long as you increase this value, which is uh, sampling size, uh, it takes long time but give you very smooth and more realistic values or output for your calculation. Okay, then click OK. Uh, I will show you later on uh, what is the uh, difference between Latin hypercube and uh, Monte Carlo simulation. Another value added to our uh, tutorial from Mr. Helg Kreutz. Um, I know much appreciated from you as a, an uh, expert geologist. Uh, I have, you have some comments, but we can, unfortunately, we cannot accommodate all of them. Uh, maybe due to time and limitation of data for the time being uh, excel automatic correlation put you an error into our all in place formula we you wanted to enter information for you yes this one already uh, fixed it in the current video in monte carlo simulation to avoid garbage in garbage out you need to think well what constitutes your uncertainty and model it uh, appropriately example area time thickness uh, actually area time edge is um, is not you, you know, we don't have a straightforward method for uh, correlation between area and uh, height function but uh, maybe some other geologists can explain us more uh, I think it depends on the type of uh, trap 
and uh, geometry of the reservoir or reservoir arch architecture. Usually, we construct distribution type with minimum maximum value from deterministic case. For this, we either use distribution observed in offset analogs, analogs historical data. Yes, of course, you are completely right. We or we use a Delphi Oracle again on our high, medium, low cases. Geologists assume high and low have B85 and B15. Uh, actually, as we mentioned before, this uh, tutorial uh, on how to use uh, the software or application itself. Uh, and if you need any any to go deeper, uh, we can use real data to explain more. If anybody have real data, we can play with it. Okay. Okay, thank you, Mohammed Farhan. Uh, Mr. BG Geologist uh, Petronas John Vinger. The most important is that how is geologists using distribution for each parameter and which probabilistics probabilities from our input for next step as it's uncertain. Uh, as we mentioned before, we have uh, for the, if you click on define assumption, we have a library for uh, distribution curves. Uh, honestly, in my in my work, I don't use this normal but uh, normal distribution, but uh, usually using beta or log normal which you can control the minimum and maximum values and avoid any error. Okay, thank you for watching and have a nice day.